start out by watching the snow in full motion. Yeah, not too bad. Now let's move it back up to the setup point again, and we'll watch it again in slow motion. And we'll break the swing down. All right, so we'll watch it in slow here. There we go. All right, so let's see what's going on here. So here we are at setup. You can see that the hands are probably too far forward. Uh, they're all the way in front of her left knee. Uh, we'd rather see the hands uh, more squared up. Uh, what this does is actually puts the club too far in the palm of the hands. Uh, so what we'd like to see is the triangle formed by the arms, instead of being at that angle right there, maybe more of this angle here. A little straighter up and down uh, so that the hands are body centered. So let's watch the initial part of the takeaway. Okay, notice the club now is coming way to the inside because of the hand position. I'm going to turn. Now there's a lifting going on right there. See that? Everything lifts up. What we want to do is we're not turning at this point. Uh, what we want to see is the is the right elbow turn around behind the golf swing. Uh, get as far away from the golf ball as possible. So we'll turn on through. There's the lifting. Stay nicely posted on the leg. Driving into the shot, pretty good there. Good hip hip action. There you can see a pretty good uh, position right there. The head's behind the ball. Uh, reasonable extension down the arm line here. Not bad. Let's go on through to the finish. Here's where we're having trouble now. At this point here, the right arm needs to be above the left arm instead of the left arm above the right arm. Uh, we've got to get the hands rotating one over the other in this position right here. Otherwise, we're actually hurting ourselves, actually hurting our shoulders. Turn on through to a finish. Nicely balanced finish right up over the lead side. Uh, all in all, pretty good swing. Just a few minor changes. A little more club rotation uh, through the impact zone. And then start out with the hands a little more body centered. Okay, let's begin by taking a look at this golfer's full swing. Play it through here. Watch it in slow motion. Now pay attention, notice that the head's going to lift quite a bit here. A lot of lifting going on. And then pulling through to the left. So what we're going to try to do here is uh, bring her back to the setup position. Draw the swing plane line in here. Draw the spine angle line in here. Uh, and then we're going to fast, we're going to move forward to the takeaway position. See how much lift there is going on. There she, you can see her, turn, her hands turned almost right away. Now she's lifting the club up and she's rising up with it. See how her uh, uh, left shoulder now is well above the swing line. The, uh, she's standing almost straight up and down. And she's going to dive back down to the golf ball and swing to the left. Uh, so we're going to work on her is getting her swing a little bit more out on the right and see if she can maintain her swing plane a little better. Um, something to work on. Swing out to the right as you turn to the left to keep your spine angle the same. Okay, let's start again. We're going to watch this swing in full motion. Turn, turn on a windy day. Let's watch it again in slow motion. So the club's going a little too far to the inside on the way back, which creates an over-the-top move on the way forward. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and draw in the setup positions here. So let's move him back to a setup position. Uh, here we have, that's his swing plane. And that's a little low. I'd like to see that up at least above the belly button on the way down. Um, so, but all in all, not too bad. Then the spine angle looks like that line is parallel to it. Uh, not too bad. Let's see if he stays now on that swing line. Uh, that's the blue line here. We want the club shaft, the club head to stay above that line on the way back. I'll take it back a little bit. What was windy that day. And you see all, already the club is coming to the inside. At this point right here, that isn't too bad. The hands are just pulled in a little bit. At least the club head is outside the hand still at this point. It's just in this last couple of inches that it moves a lot to the inside. So it's actually well below plane. Let's see what happens right there. Back on plane again. Pretty good position. It's in a great position right here. 
But there's the problem right there. Watch the head and the shoulders. See how he goes like he's going to dive down. What he's trying to do from this position is drive the hands straight back down to the golf ball. And that's the over-the-top move. Uh, instead of going down to the golf ball, what we want to see are the hands drop down the forearm. So at this line here, if the club went down the forearm, you'd see he would have dropped it back into the slot. But he's trying to get the hands back at the golf ball. He's above the plane. You can see that. That's the top line. Well above the plane. Puts himself into a position where he's going to push it out to the right almost every time. You can see that ball right, right there curving out to the right quite a bit. Uh, so we're going to work a little bit on having him drop that club down the yellow line from the top of the backswing. Okay, let's watch it at full speed. We'll take it. Slow it down a little bit. Let's watch it again. Turn. Turn. See the right hand staying a little bit under the club. He actually hit that pretty solid. So let's go ahead and draw some lines in here, see what's really going on here. Take him back to a setup position. Setup looks pretty good. The hands are body centered. Uh, let's see if he's got this leg posted up nice and solid here. I'm going to draw a line right down this leg. Watch him rotate. See, he's going to sway a little outside that leg. Not bad, though. I'm going to swing out to right. Here's where he's under the golf club at impact instead of on top. He's lost his club angle, kind of a scooping motion, and he stays under it. That's causing the chicken wing right there. You can see this uh, kind of this angle like that. We'd rather have that elbow down to the ground rather than pointing up to the sky like that. Let's watch the finish right on through to a fairly balanced finish. Actually a pretty good swing. He'd been working really hard on getting that right hip rotating through to the target. He did it here. Good job. Okay, let's take a look at this golfer face on. Uh, first time we'll do, let's do a uh, full speed swing here. See a little lifting there. Let's do it again in slow motion. There's the arms coming apart right there. Good finish. Nicely balanced. So let's go ahead and take a look at this now. We'll step through it, see if we can analyze it. Good takeaway. See the width he's getting on the takeaway there? Uh, got the arms nice and long. Uh, the club is toe up. I can easily see the back of the lead hand. Move further. Good swing. Good rotation. Excellent rotation. Look at the club lag. Great club set. Watch the downswing. Good bump into the lead side. Moving into the lead side really nicely at this point. The head has dropped a little bit. Not too bad right here. But then we're going to see no rotation. See, right here, he's forcing that right elbow to bend because he hasn't rotated the, the uh, lead hand under the golf club. It's still on top of the golf club. More like he's trying to lift the ball into the air. Watch the continuation. There's the separation of the elbows. Uh, no extension down the line. Kind of that lifting action. At this point now, I'd like to see the hands, uh, the glove hand be completely under the golf club. And the golf club be pointing straight up in the air so it's released. On through to the finish. Good balance finish and a late release. Let's take a look at the down the line view in full speed. That's a pretty good swing. Slow it down a little bit. Watch it again. Not good contact. Let's see what happened there. So we'll take him right on through to his setup position. He's starting the club back there. A little bit to the inside. So his arms have moved quite a bit more than his shoulders turned. I'd like to see the shoulders have rotated uh, about as much as the arms have gone back at this point. Now he's lifted a little bit. He's in a pretty good sp spot here. Notice the back of the hand here, how nice and flat it is. Um, right there, the back of that hand is very flat. Uh, good position. He's driving down into the golf ball nicely. Club staying from behind, turning into it. Uh, the club is probably too far open now to get it rotated, closed in time to make impact. If you look down, you can see how the toe is almost straight up. See, then, then he's going to kind of hit it thin and out on the toe. Uh, at this point here, we'd like to see the left hand the back of the left hand be to the ground, squaring the club up so we can hit down more on the ball. Never really had a chance to get good contact there. So let's watch this one in slow motion. 
Nice setup, good flex in the knees. Turn, turn. See a little bit of the arms separating at the top, at the bottom of the downswing there. Let's back up a little bit. Right about in, right there, where he starts to separate a little bit, pulls the club to the inside, and you see the elbow appears first. Uh, what we would like to see there is a little bit more swinging uh, out the out way, out towards left field, rather than swinging so much to the inside, which is creating that tendency to pull that club way inside, keep it outside the hands. Um, other than that, good swing. Okay, we've got a golfer from the face on view on kind of a cloudy morning. Let's watch it in full speed. Same kind of motion we see there, a lot of up and down. Uh, let's go back to the setup position. Uh, draw the line in for this club. Uh, the club's a little bit uh, leaning too far forward. The hands aren't quite body centered. We like to see the hands more under the chin, uh, a little bit more centrally located. Uh, that's more of an impact position we'd like to see there. Let's watch the takeaway now. Okay, I moved a little bit there. There's your takeaway position. Moving on into impact. Pretty good impact position right there. Good hip action. Good rotation. I like to see the hands rotate over a little bit more. Okay, here we are in the caddy view. Let's take a look at this swing in slow motion. Nice smooth takeaway. Well, a little mechanical right in there. I'd like to see a smoother, more even paced takeaway. Great downswing, though. Let's just back that up and see what's going on here. We'll back it up a little bit here. Look at that extension down the line. That's a really good move right there. Um, I'd like to get most of my students in that position here. The only thing I'd like to see is maybe a little bit more pelvis thrust so that you're kind of leading more with the belly. Uh, the butt's kind of punched in a little bit instead of sticking out there. Uh, nice rotation there. Look at the impact zone. It's turning through it. But there we see club wide open. Honked it on the hosel. Uh, we didn't get the club rotated early enough. You can just see how wide open that club face still is. So what we have to do is at about right about here, we're going to start rotating the uh, back of the left hand towards the ground. So as we're coming into that golf shot, we want to see the back of that left hand get really hard to the ground and not let that club be quite so open. Okay? Okay, let's get a uh, nice slow motion view of this swing. A little too far to the inside. And then a little bit over the top. But fairly fluid. Now let me show you what I mean by a little too far to the inside. We'll take him back to the setup position here. Swing back through. It's always fun to watch when we swing the club backwards. When that club reaches at about the hand position here, we'd like to see the club blocking our view of the hands. So as this one goes back, you notice how the hands go way to the inside, and the club even goes further to the inside. Uh, so at this point, we'd want to see the hands block. So we're going to work a lot on the takeaway with this guy here. Good position on the way down is over the top at impact. See that? Way over the top. Work on that. Let's take a look in slow motion here. Good takeaway, good setup, good rotation. Cut it a little chunky. Uh, let's see what happens there. Let's back it up. Back up. Okay, a little awkward looking there. There's the chunk right there. And that's because there's not enough momentum going to the front foot. He's still kind of laying back on the shot. Uh, what we want to do is we want to see the downswing right here be a driving forward force, not just a tipping force. And what he's doing is kind of tipping back. Uh, move a little more weight onto the front side. See, there's no shifting at all. Okay, so your goal is to get more weight to the left side before impact. 